Now, when I saw this set on Banggood, I just knew that I'd have to get one of these. Um, not only is it a really versatile tool for all different work holding situations, it's one of those tools that you can add um, tips to for customised work. So it's a brilliant piece of kit, it's really well made, nicely ground, good finishes and the bearing system's lovely and smooth and it's dead accurate. And the MT2 taper on the end here is not too long so it's ideal for the Chinese mini lathe or my Myford ML7 lathe. The tip inserts um, consist of a large internal cone, a small internal cone, an external cone which is ideal for holding pipes or whatever, and then four different shaped centres. And just using these seven different centres which come with this kit, you'll be actually really surprised at how many different work holding situations you can use them for. So to load a centrepiece, you make sure the um, taper on both the internal and the actual centrepiece is clean. Just slide it in the end there and you can give it a tap with a soft mallet to locate it. And this is obviously done quickly on the machine. Um, the kit comes with a um, forked tapered drift. Um, they call it a wrench, but it's a drift and it goes in between the end of the um, live centre and the actual centre piece. And just hold it in place and give it a light tap with a copper mallet and that releases the centre tip and makes it easier and quick to change. Now like I say the kit is really excellent as it is with the actual seven um, tips that come with it. But the real beauty of this tool system is that you can actually make up your own tapered ends to suit whatever tooling uh, you want um, for whatever work holding situation that arises. And I quickly and easily made up these three here. Um, the hardest part was getting the angle right. I had a few attempts to get that right. Um, when I got it dead right, I left the machine set and machined all these three. So this one here has a 3 8 by 20 UNF thread, which suits the small Jacobs chucks. And this is a really useful tool. I'll show you what it can be used for in a minute. This one here has a 6mm thread through it, so I can actually put it into the um, centre and then I can actually change the uh, bush end on here and I'll show you what this one's for maybe in the next video and I'll show how to actually make one of these. And this one here has a straight through hole with a chamfer at the front and that's used for holding um, small cones or whatever. So I'll just give a few quick examples on the Chinese mini lathe. I've got a brass uh, pipe here. Now if I was going to machine that, I'd make a close fitting bush that goes in the end here. We used to call them a bung. And that um, stops the uh, pipe from squashing in the jaws and also stops it flipping out. But in this case, I'd use this one here. And the end of the pipe goes nicely up on that cone. So that one's really good for that type of work. The internal cone one here, I'll show it on the um, big one. Now this could be used for say something like this. Say if I didn't want to put a centre in the end here 
and I wanted to hold that steady and machine it um, without any run out I would um, put that one in the jaws and just lightly do that one up and that one would sit inside the cone and could be machined like that and I find those internal comb ones very useful And then you have all the ordinary centre ones. Um, the chuck one that I made up, I'll show you an example what this could be used for. Just say for instance I was going to machine this brass pin and I was going to take a recess out the centre here and I didn't want to put a centre in the end of that one. This one would go in the jaws and then I could use the Jacobs chuck on the end of that one to hold that one nice and steady and these are just quick examples but it give you some idea of the um, various different work holding situations that can arise So that's great for that type of work and um, this is a really useful tool having a small chuck like this on a centre and I've got a larger version of one of these and I've used it hundreds of times for all different types of components. And the other one I've made is the straight through small bore one with a, a bit of a cone on the end there. And this can be used for um, components like this one here. So it can be used to hold um, long sharp pointed objects like this one here and so if you're doing like machining on this end here or even up here this will hold it nice and steady and keep it running true.
And the last example I'm going to show this evening is this one here that I made with the 6mm thread um, through it. With the nylon bush that I made up on the end here. 6mm Allen bolt holding that one on. This is a piece of um, polycarbonate tubing that I use on the oilers or whatever I'm making. And this is a bush that goes up into that one. Nice fit. Or we, like I say, we call them a bung. That goes into the jaws. And this is, like I say, um, quite a nice tight fit in there. So that one goes in the centre. And wind that one down so that the end of the polycarbonate is over the actual um, groove in that nylon um, bush. And this is a very simple method um, with this centre here to actually use on polycarbonate tubing um, to actually face off the end of the polycarbonate. You can use it on um, all different lengths of um, piping or whatever. And that one will prevent the um, polycarbonate from moving in the jaws or coming out. And like I say, the end face here is positioned over that groove so that the um, turning tool can go down into that groove past the actual internal bore and completely face it off. And that one's used like that, just deeper the inside for pulling the bush end out. So that's a um, few very quick examples to show how versatile this tool can be. And that you can add to it and make a complete tooling system to suit whatever components you're machining on the lathe. And if you get the chance to buy one, I totally recommend it. It's a great tool to have. And um, I'll put the links below the video in the description section and the comment section where you can actually buy one of these. And to keep the video as short as possible, I shall show you this one being made in the next video and how I keep it all running true using an ER40 collet chuck. And just one thing before I go, the tapered um, drift, I've drilled a hole in the corner there and I'm going to put a zip tie through that one because I know these types of tools are very easily misplaced in the workshop and then I can easily find it but also hang it up. 